Back on the show is Brian Camozzi, who's got a fight coming up here at RFA 34 against Tyler Milner, January 15th. Brian, how you doing? How was the holiday season? Uh, doing well. It was uh, it was pretty good. I mean, a little disappointing. I had planned on fighting before the holidays, but uh, that obviously didn't happen. Yeah, let's talk about that quickly. You know, and it, it was really kind of a shock to everyone, including myself. I did all these interviews, and then I find out that, uh, you know, the event is canceled. Uh, where were you when you found out the news, and how shocked were you? Because I think this kind of was blindsided for a lot of people. Yeah, I was uh, I was sitting at work, and uh, my manager called me, which is never a good sign. Um, if I get a text or an email, we're good. But anytime it's a voice phone call, it's bad news. Um, and he just let me know that the event was uh, apparently canceled about nine days out so yeah and and then i saw there was some stuff that came out about titan providing compensation but i'm seeing a lot of fighters saying that they haven't been compensated at all you know including anthony gutierrez grant dawson and a few other fighters i'm assuming you're in that boat as well you haven't gotten any compensation yeah i mean we literally don't know anything other than what the story was that came out that apparently jeff you know was having some health issues um but other than that man we haven't been told anything um all i keep hearing is we'll have answers for you next week and then that never comes that's a bummer well okay let, let's look forward here you got rfa coming up that's the good news here you, you do have a fight i um, glad it's not like a huge layoff for you how did this deal all come together and how perfect was it that rfa is doing a show in colorado as well too uh you know it basically came about is we just went into scramble mode um as soon as we found out we weren't fighting on Titan. It pretty much was calling anybody and everybody we could get a hold of seeing what the closest fight could be. Um, you know, I've had a couple teammates fight for RFA and my coach and managers have a relationship with them. So luckily they were, uh, I believe they were in California putting together a show out there. Um, basically said, yeah, we're interested. Let us finish the show out and then we'll see what we can do. And they came back, found me an opponent and got me on the card. And is this a one fight deal or a multiple fight deal? Like, what's your contract st uh, status with them at this point? Uh, it's going to be a three fight contract. Nice, awesome. Well, yep. that's great. Uh, how excited are you with the fact that uh, you know you could be on Access TV? They have that really uh, big exposure. Um, you know, it, it's kind of a nice second option as opposed to you know what's happened with the cancellation. Yeah, I'm excited. You know, uh, more than anything, I just want to get a fight. You know, uh, I'm coming up on by the time I fight on January 15th, it'll be 51 weeks. Since oh I man, fought. you got it down to a uh, weeks, man. Yeah, it's a bummer. That's uh, yep. Yeah, so I mean, more than anything, above all else, just happy to have a fight. Yeah, that's great. Well, let's talk about this fight. You're taking on Tyler Milner. He's won three in a row. How do you think you match up against him? Um, Pretty well, I guess. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't know much about him. Um, everything I could find is pretty old. It looks like he hasn't fought in probably about three years. Uh, best I can tell, he's a good wrestler. So it's something I've dealt with before. But I mean, I'm expecting a completely different fighter than anything I've seen. So... To be honest, just kind of go into the fight blind and just do my thing. But it's got to give you a bit of a boost there, knowing that he hasn't fought since, what is it, April 2013? That's a really long time. Um, I don't look at it like that, you know. Uh, I look at it as that's time that you've spent in the gym just getting everything better, you know. So I just plan on fighting somebody completely new, and we'll see how it turns out. Now, uh, who are some of the people at uh, Factory, Factory X that you're working with uh, to get ready for this fight? Um, all the usuals, you know, I've got my brother, Chris, um, Josh Cavan, who's uh, another RFA welterweight, Gilbert Smith, uh, who recently went to Bellator. Um, actually, James Krause is in town right now, so doing quite a bit of work with him before he heads back out, um, you know, and just all my teammates here. Yeah, and that's one great thing about where you're at. You got a, a lot of really good sparring partners. I mean, that, you know, being with those guys, really, you know, being able to work with them must, again, give you a lot of confidence just because you know you're, you're training with the best, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a bunch of killers here. Like I said, Kraus is here. I think Brian Foster is due to be back in town next week. So I'm sure I'll get to go with him a little bit before the fight. So That's great. Always good. Uh, yeah, and I was, I was going to say, you know, one of your teammates got a really big win uh, back in December, and that was Brian Rogers. I know he really needed that win. Uh, he yeah. looked pretty good at 205. Um, that must have been a nice boost for the team, getting him, uh, you know, getting him back in the win column. Yeah, that was definitely awesome. You know, we're, uh, we're all pretty close with Brian, so it was, we were all happy to see him win. Stuff. All right. Well, uh, simple question for you here, Brian. How does this fight end on January 15th? Uh, any way I can end it. As long as it's not a decision, I'm happy, but I'm going for the finish at every second of the fight. Awesome. Don't Love really it. care how it comes. <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> now, what's the plan for 2016? How many times would you like to fight? Like, what's an ideal situation for you as far as how many times you, you're fighting and competing? Um, ideally, I get all three fights on my contract done in six to seven months. Would be awesome. Um, 
But other than that, you know, I mean, just fight as much as I can. Obviously, 2015 was pretty terrible for me um, with just tons of bad luck. So as long as I can break that streak, we're, we're going in the right direction. Uh, we just had Christmas. Uh, did you get anything cool for Christmas uh, during the holiday season? Did Santa treat you, you know, quite well? <laughs> uh, yeah, it was good. You know, just uh, some clothes, some uh, some new gear, things like that. So that's that was good. And we're recording this before uh, New Year's Eve. You got any New Year's Eve plans? I know obviously you can't get too crazy because you got this fight coming up. Are you just going to, you know, kind of take it easy? What are you doing? I'm going to sit at home and nerd out and play some Fallout 4. <laughs> nice. Good st- Good choice of game, I must say. Is that is that yeah. what's consuming a lot of your downtime these days is Fallout? I know for a lot of people it is. Yeah, when I can. I, uh, I just got it. I guess that was the other thing I got for Christmas. So I just got it. So I haven't had a ton of time to sit down with it. But I figured I can't drink on New Year's, so I might as well put some time into that. And are you a guy that does New Year's resolutions or are you kind of think that's kind of a, a lame thing? And, uh, you know, because we hear it from all types of people all over social media. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I mean, you, you seem like a guy who's got goals, but not necessarily New Year's resolutions. Yeah, I'm not a big resolution fan. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's good for some people, but I know for me, if I make a New Year's resolution, I'm probably going to break it about two days after that. So, yeah, don't bother. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, everyone's got to check it out. RFA 34, Brian Camozzi, Tyler Milner. Uh, Brian, I want to thank you so much for joining me here on the program again. I know we just talked uh, recently, so I appreciate <laughs> you doing this. I just remind my audience where they can get a hold of you on social media and give any thank yous or shout outs. The floor is yours. All right. Obviously, I just want to thank uh, thank you for having me on again. I appreciate it. Um, thank you to all my coaches, Mark Montoya, Chase Hackett, my brother Chris. Um you know, thank you to all my training partners. And then as far as finding me on social media, I try to stay pretty consistent across everything. Just Brian Camozzi. Um, luckily, I got a unique last name, so I don't have to worry about anybody taking it. So feel free to reach out to me. I try to answer everybody I can.